At least five people have been killed in a mass shooting in the U.S. city of Milwaukee. The attack took place at the headquarters of the Molson Coors Brewing Company. Police are saying the shooter is dead. Shia Bertansi has more on how the incident played out. Soon after 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Milwaukee police arrived at the sprawling Molson Coors Brewery and corporate offices where over 1,000 people work. And there they found the body of a 51-year-old man, a Milwaukee man, dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound, and five others also killed. All were employees of the company. No injured were found. Several hours later, the Lieutenant Governor of Wisconsin lamented gun violence in his state. This is the 11th mass shooting in our state since 2004. And I especially want to thank the first responders who so bravely are still responding to the situation. I want to offer my condolences to the families, the friends, the co-workers of everybody involved, but I also want to issue a call, a challenge, because we shouldn't accept this. This is not the way that things should be. And we should never grow comfortable in the face of these repeated tragedies all across America, and especially right here at home. We have a duty to act. We have to be more responsible. And as we often see after a mass shooting, this one is already factoring into the national debate over gun violence in the United States, the Democratic presidential candidates saying that they will tackle the problem if they were to become president, something we can hear more of, I'm sure, in the summertime when the Democratic National Convention is held in Milwaukee. However, if the past is anything to go by, what normally happens is we hear a lot of debate, a lot of hand-wringing, but in fact, gun sales tend to spike after a mass shooting as potential gun owners get worried about more regulation.